y'all i don't know we might be in trouble did y'all see hulu is about to release a documentary about 94 freak yes yes 1994 freak Nick. yes they are about to release the documentary so um i'm just now I, i've been to several freak Nicks. 94 was one that i attended uh, so I'm, I'm just praying that Jesus be a fence. I'm praying that Jesus just be a big, tall privacy fence. That's my prayer. This Easter, this Good Friday, that's my prayer. So um, you know, I will say this though. I will say this. Like when they would bring out those video cameras and start recording, I immediately remove myself from the um, that situation. I never ever ever um was okay with being recorded out there so um hopefully that worked to my benefit but you know you never know you never know so the only thing i got is if you see your girl in the documentary hey man at least i'm fully clothed at least all my clothes is on that's that's all i got <laughs> that's that's the best i got but yeah y'all they about to put our business out in the street we about to, some of us might be on tv so get your parental controls together and uh i don't know y'all i don't know mommy daddy what did you do at freak nick 94 from the oak wall studios in las vegas nevada <laughs> Hello there, this is Jesse Oakley III, and before I get to today's topic, I need your help. I have a goal for this YouTube channel, and that's to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Could you please help me out? All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, the like, comment, and share this video, and you'll get the best of yours truly, Jesse Oakley III. Now let's get to the topic, shall we? Freaknik 1994. Now what in the world is Freaknik? I'll just say Freaknik was a spring break celebration, shared mostly by people of my skin complexion, just shaking what they got, having fun, drinking, and doing whatever they can to just freak out at Freaknik in Atlanta, Georgia. Back in the day, I was corny. I did not go to Freaknik. I was that same nerdy student at UNLV. And I could tell you right now, whew, thank goodness I did not go to Freaknik because there's a whole new documentary that's going to be out documenting Freaknik 94. And there are a lot of people today that are very, very nervous from what they did 30 years ago. Whether it is the freak, whether it is to shake your booty, whether it's to get the drunk, or whether they get, get to become and act like a fool, all that's going to be revealed and all that's going to be released. They have so many people that are nervous. The business people today, the people that are bosses, the mommy, the daddy, the aunties, the uncles, the grandmother, the grandfather. I can't believe I said, said that, but they are very nervous about what they did at Freaknik and the videos and everything else that has been revealed. And all I could tell you is choices have consequences. And that is the most important thing because just when you think that you did, that you did something 30 years ago and think that they could be buried, that they could be hidden away, you thought wrong. As long as there's someone with a camera, as long as there's someone with a video, as long as there's someone with pictures, they will resurface, especially 30 years later. So this is why I tell you in many videos that choices have consequences and before you hit the record button, think about what you're doing because you never know how that's gonna come back and bite you in the rear end. And for so many people, it's gonna bite them in the rear end without shaking their rear end. And I could tell you that for those that are getting involved in Freaknik, you may have to answer a few questions here and there, but it goes to show you that what you've done back then, it will not always go away forever. It'll come back and get you. And you probably have that embarrassment having to explain to other people what you did at Freaknik and why you did that at Freaknik and who you at Freaknik. And it is gonna get very awkward in today's time. So the moral of the story is choices have consequences. And before you press the button on anything with the camera or say cheese or do whatever you can, think about it before you actually do it. Because you do not want to be at a point 30 years later where you have to explain your actions from 30 years ago. It can get quite embarrassing. This is Jessica Third speaking, and until next time, you take care and have a great day. Bye.
Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, I have other videos right here that you can check out. And feel free to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, and you'll get some more words of wisdom from yours truly, Jesse Oakley III. Until next time, you take care. Remember to always have a great day. Bye.